9. Customer Intelligence Tool Tips for Small Online Businesses 1. Root first, make sure you have internal root that support what you are trying to get done with your customer intelligence tool. Point 2. Work together. As mentioned above work with other departments. Do not work in a silo. Involve sales to get opinion. Sales and marketing should always be aligned. Involve upper management and endure they know what is going and the value you are driving from the consumer buying behavior. Reports and dashboards can be used to show the impact of the customer intelligence tool on the business. Point 3. Create quality content Create content. Lots of it, but don't forget quality. Think about what buyers in your market want to hear about. Think about what they need to know to make better buying decisions. Content is important since it will be the base of all your nurturing and lead generation strategies. Make sure you spend quality time on it. Point 4. Start simple. When dealing with customer intelligence, make sure you understand how the customer intelligence tool works before undertaking bigger customer intelligence projects. Start with high impact areas and easier processes first, sending out newsletter, basic scoring. Once you understand your tool better, then go for the more complicated tools. Point 5. Pace yourself. As mentioned earlier, customer intelligence tools offer a great deal of functionality. Make sure you take your time to learn all these different pieces and how they tie together. You are better off implementing what you know at first and then growing into the rest as you get more and more comfortable. Implementing everything at once will overwhelm you. Take your time, implement programs, and analyze the results and then move on to the next thing. Point 6. Implement customer scoring. This is probably one of the reasons you bought the customer intelligence software in the first place. Implement customer scoring to make sure you are sending quality leads to sales. There are many resources to ensure you are doing it right. Customer scoring can be complex so we won't try to explain here in one paragraph, but you definitely should be implementing it. Point 7. Implement customer nurturing. This is probably the second reason why you bought the customer intelligence software. Implement customer nurturing techniques to ensure you are giving your customers the content they need to move them down your marketing funnel until they reach the stage of sales handoff. Nurturing is very dependent on your business and the industry you are in but one thing remains the same, you need high-quality content to be successful at it. You need to consider consumer buying behavior while developing your content. Point 8. Test, test and test again, ensure you are testing variations of your different content and delivery methods. Test landing pages, test email content, test email subject lines, and test everything. Do not change too many variables at once, but always try to test something. This will allow you to improve over time and increase your conversion rates dramatically. Point 9. Understand the data. Customer intelligence tools will produce a lot of data that you can look at. Make sure you do. You will find a wealth of information on prospective buyer behaviors that you can then use to improve your customer nurturing, customer scoring, and various marketing campaigns. Try to look at the data once a week and do a deeper dig probably once month. Conclusion These are 9 tips to help you get on your way to a successful and rewarding customer intelligence journey. If done right, customer intelligence can definitely bring a business to the next level. Take your time. Understand who and what drives your business and grow from there. Octopus 3G is customer intelligence tool. You can use it very effectively in your business. It does not have any learning curve and it predicts consumer buying behavior accurately.